Let's see. Do I still have game in my inventory? I do. Let's get that out of my inventory before I get in trouble. There we go. Counts as stolen. Did I get a reading skill? I did. Level 9. Magistrate 2. Your speech bonus when trying to persuade guards raised by 2. Ooh. SWAT. It doesn't matter where you read. You get a learning bonus anywhere you read. That's not worth it. I can just read at the right spot instead. Level of study of the book you've read most of all will advance automatically while sleeping or skipping time. Now it seems like the way to go is magistrate because it's a it's a speech bonus on guards. That's 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 great news. Yeah, go for it. Just did a few things, so let's level up. I think it's been a little while since last time. So all that's left is get the healing herbs for Samek and bring some game meat. Mention some purple herb. I think it was supposed to grow near water or something? A purple herb. Oh, I can pick the eye bright and stuff? Kind of thought they'd stop me now that the quest is over. Now I can just take all their shit. Oh, all the nettle regrows. Oh. If all the nettle's back, then I get like AoE gathering in this zone that's super dense. And that means that I can actually get a lot of experience that way, I think. I don't know if it's per gather or per thing gathered, I guess. It actually might be making me gather... It might be making me level way slower if it's only counting as one. God damn, that sure would have made the quest easier, huh? That kind of AoE effect. Especially since you're picking one of a certain plant and it AoEs the other ones of the same plant. Unfortunately, he just says purple plant, which is not helpful because two of those plants are purple already. I'm not sure what to go on that. I might want to just go hunting for now and deal with that. Unless there was like a peculiarly different purple plant anywhere. Is this all nettle? Oh my goodness. How much am I picking up in one gather right now? Jesus. I'm sorry, how much nettle do I have right now? 67. But where's my actual skill for this stuff? Herbalism's at an 8. It actually, it actually is up there. So which direction is the best one to go in for local wildlife? North-ish, basically. Is that an open grave? Spooky. Let's go murder some wildlife! Oops. Saw that food and I'm like, oh, right. I haven't taken care of myself. Now I'm taken care of. Thankfully the forest, the forest is nice and close by. This is a nice quest chain. It reminds me of Terrytown from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Just the idea of just doing a series of quests that helps a particular community that's in a... That's in, that needs some help. It all feels like it all build, comes together and builds towards something. Instead of doing random tasks. Trap 
Trying to spot wildlife is a little tough on horseback. First one. You get to be lucky number one. Nailed it. Is is Henry getting better or am I getting better? Trick question. Both of us, obviously. Wow, look at it go. It's really picking up speed going downhill. Did I kill that woodpecker for food? It's the first thing I hear right now. Oh, there's a few of you guys. Oh, there's a bunch of you guys. You're everywhere. Good thing that you're like, don't notice arrows. Forty-six. I did it. I did it. Seventy. I'm gonna wanna get in and out fast too, or the guards might search me. Although I'm getting better and better at not getting searched by guards. In fact, I specifically just got a skill that gives me a plus two on top of everything else for not getting searched by guards, basically. Which might me might make it a lot easier to get away with uh, stealing constantly, basically. Way to go, me. Oh, that's a big one. A little unnecessary to go that far, though. I'm doing just fine with the hairs. Oh, those are the big ones, too. They'll escape. I can't just chase them with a sword. Which is basically the fa my favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> that was the dumbest shit. It was great. Let's not introduce ourselves to the random man down there. I have a bad success rate with not getting attacked by them. Which is basically any number besides zero. There you are. Ooh, there's one too. And there's me failing miserably. New scale, new skill of hunting. How kind of you to return my arrow to me, kind sir. I will repay it in kind by cooking you and your family. Hooray. I've got what I need. Well, who did it say I was supposed to take it to? Bring some game meat to the infirmary. That's all it says. I can do that. I guess while we're working on this, um, to overload the fast travel. It's fine. That's fine. I can work on it. I just need to hope I don't get searched by guards. Run them over. So many rabbits. Do they really punish you for hunting rabbits? Do they not know about the, uh, the go-to thing that people say about rabbits? They have a tendency to spread and procreate. I don't think you have to be that worried about, like, diminishing the rabbit population. Probably doing everyone a favor. I'm getting so close to being successful. I just want to nail it with this mission. I may have lost track of where I was going a little bit. It's that gate. There we go. The multiple courtyards trip me up more often than they should. Don't pay attention to me, guard that's conspicuously waiting for me right here. Oh, wait, no, he's always there. Come to see us. Which one of you wanted to game me? Was it you?
Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. That's it. New skill in alchemy from talking to you? Oh, the effect is done. Cool. Let's talk to that guy then. And also you. I brought some meat. Here you go. Have all this meat. Tell me more. All right. She didn't even thank me. The quest just pre proceeded without us. What? What happened? We brought you back to the land of the living. How? How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. Your friends have left. I have to find them. Rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Well, all right. And Henry? Hmm? Thank you. Good health to you, Henry. Hey, we did it. Philip's good. Okay, so Philip's doing all right. It's just... It says optional, bring some gaming to the infirmary 100 out of 100. So it, it just didn't go away, but it is complete, I think. Let's talk to Semek again. Can I get any more information from him? Let's just grab one of the purple plants and go for it. I don't have much to go on besides just purple. That guy's not wearing pants. Is he supposed to be wearing pants? Or wait, was he wearing flesh colored pants? Because the end result is it just looks like he's not wearing pants. Haha, -ha, I'm taking all the plants. Jesus. Just take, just put a dent in the middle of it. And then I can sell them back to him for a profit. Mwahaha. They'll grow back, right? That's what they do. Otherwise, I'm a monster. I really feel like I've done something bad because I put someone work, much work in this place, but I'm like, hey, are we exploding this place? Uh, but I don't know when this page thing is going to be ready, but I want to get everyone taken care of. Are you wearing pants? You are wearing pants. They're just conspicuous colored. Master Carol, you're right. All right. You, oh, we just changing stances. You all right, Mr. Master Carol? Hey. Watch it, lout. Not very. Yeah, I'm. I'm the lout here. You're right. How did you know? Also, if you if you're wondering why I'm not running, it's because I'm very over encumbered right now. I'll 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 deal with that. I'm working on it. Just give me a bit. I'm dealing with the major thing first. Boy, I hope this works out. All right, Warman. Oh, it's you. Hopefully, I have what you need. <laughs> I mean, comfort is explicitly purple, so... Yeah? Uh, uh, what do you want? What is it? Uh... Is there supposed to be a quest update? Yeah? Damn... Why are you waking me? Hopefully, I have what you need. Oh, it's saying, do you really want to cancel handing, handling it over? Oh, that explains the game meet, too. Confirm delivery is X. Whoops. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. There we go. Stop by and see me in a few days. I know exactly how my own future will work. Yohanka. Yohan Why can't I rotate this direction? There we go. Yohanka? There you are. I brought some... X. Thank you, Henry. Rich food will definitely help. How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. I've done it. Did I win at the thing? What am I doing on food? I'm doing okay. 
Let's cook the rest of my hair meat. There we go. Cooked hair meat. Does cooking it make it not stolen anymore? Yep. By the game's definition, at least. There is way too much crap in my inventory right now. Holy crap. Well, I can, I can always sell it all off. Is there a skip to end of number hotkey? You just have to hold it for a while and it kind of gets the idea eventually. There we go. Out of my inventory. Oh, no, that looks like stolen goods. I won't buy that. Oh, he noticed. Did he not take any of it then? He didn't. Shit. But he will steal the goods I took from him. <laughs> I mean, buy, not steal. He'll buy the goods I stole from him. There we go. How am I doing on money? 3.1k. Alright, we're doing alright. I am quick on my feet again, able to sprint. And I guess the entire quest is re is rectified now. Just like that, it's over. Tell Fritz the news. Let's check in on that then. Way the hell down on Ledechko. Let's at least get on the horse first. Before I make a mistake. There we go. So as of right now, supposedly everyone is now on the path to recovery as much as my character can at least do. So things are going well there. I have one character that says check back in a few days, so maybe I should remember to do that, but a few days is a few days, so it'll be a while, I think. So I'll focus on other things in the meantime. Like Fritz. Hey Fritz, you wanna punch again? Is that what we, is that what we do? Whoa, that was a weird... Uh... Okay. It's not gonna get any better, is it? I just think we should go. Doesn't matter where. We can make that money here. Hey, pitiful. It's just arms. We used to earn much more. Yes, it was a mill, not a silver mine. Huh. Not even our mine chief Nemoy was as much of a halfwit as our new mill foreman. And that's saying a lot. Yes. But right now we're here. We just have to hold on a little longer. And then we'll ask around elsewhere. The sooner, the better. Or well, I'm liable to lose my temper and hit him over the head with something. What a wonderful idea. That would really help. Didn't he have enough the first time? And you two. How do you guys hear each other? That's a huge distance. I also be yelling in the public about how shitty your boss is. I feel like they're gonna catch you on that one. You know, I it took some t some work to get you this job. Good health to you. How do you like it at the mill, Fritz? It's got to be better than the mines. It's worse here than at Scallops. There you could disappear without anyone noticing. But eh? But why would you want to disappear? Nimoy isn't here. <laughs> no, he's not. But the local foreman is an even bigger ass. <laughs> I'm not sure that's possible. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the, uh, first, or the second day here. Uh, we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But well, how did he get out? 
I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here. But that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass and kind with it. And what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Matthew going to see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He won't make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. I spoke with him briefly and he doesn't seem so horrible. Then you ought to try working with him. He's a sneaky bastard. And arrogant. You should see how he puffs himself up when he's off to play dice with Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? Another mill hand? Aye, but at the neighbouring mill. They call him the Wren. Damned if I know why. Thomas goes there to play dice with him. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the pay's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. About your brawl with Elias. Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. We... We won't forget this. Oh, on my honour. And uh, I'm really sorry about that fight. I was just going out of my mind. Good health to you. I've heard you don't have it easy here. So you spoke to Fritz then? I bet that wasn't quite how he put it. <laughs> no, not quite. Apart from Thomas's name, the rest was mostly swear words. I can imagine. I've been hearing the same from him all week. The foreman here is a pain in the ass. He's trying either to wear us to the bone or force us to leave. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too, and... And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. 
Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. I'd like to ask about that Thomas again. Ooh, I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. Alright, time for another good old persuasion check again. I can do it. Probably. Charisma 11, am I that dirty right now? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Alright, let's find a trough. If I can. Or maybe even the bathhouse? Is this the town that has a bathhouse nearby? Oops. Right. It's like right over there. Take a visit to the baths, pick some flowers. Welcome, Henry. You get a permanent plus two bonus on vitality. When did I get that? Was that part of the quest of doing a bunch of medic medicine for people? Huh. Neat. God be with you, Henry. What I want though is I want to get the flower picker buff for charisma, and I want to get the flesh, the freshly bathed buff for uh, charisma. On top of just cleaning up in general. In between those, I should be in better shape. Oh, those aren't plants I can pick. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. So what are you interested in? Uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and uh, launder in my clothes. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Oh, we're running out of daylight. The bathmaids will make a new man of you. It says in all caps with an exclamation point. It's, they're really into it right now, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, no scene plays for that. Prism's back up to 15. I'm not freshly bathed. According to, I thought I had a buff for that. Let's try the trough. Hey! How no. Are you, Henry? Hi. Are you looking for me? I don't know. You're yelling at me. What? Do I know you? Are you just yelling at me for being in the area? That was weird. He screamed at me, hey. That said, how are you, Henry? Are you looking for me? It's like, everything about that screams, I am a quest NPC, here is a quest, I know you personally as a character. And it's like, it's, it's just some dude. The game's gonna despawn him tomorrow, probably, and replace him with somebody else and see if I notice. I'm not getting the buff. Herbalism, flower power. When you've got enough fragrant herbs in your inventory, you get a plus two charisma bonus. Oh, how much is enough? And what is and what is fragrant? I know what the word means. I mean, like I don't I don't know which plants would be fragrant necessarily. I, I assume flowers, I guess. But chamomiles, they make tea out of chamomile, right? So that probably is fragrant. 
Listen, nothing but the best for my buddies. I'm going full in on this attempt at uh, negotiating, apparently. Oh, I think I got it. Flower power, plus two charisma modus. We're, we're back up to 17. That, that should be good enough. Probably. Uh... Is the quest not selected? Is it another new quest again? Negotiate peace with the mill, arrange a fight with Thomas, sort out Fritz and Matthew's problems with, with Thomas. I think they're both technically options. I don't know if I have to fight him necessarily, if I can just get them to chill out. Is this a pickable plant? No? Oh, I could have made so much experience progress with how crowded it is. You with the Matrix jumps around here. Are you Thomas? But I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell me. So I asked for a high price. And he says, that's fine. And started counting the coin right there and then. Just like that. What, what? I heard about him was a rug split. And what did Betty have to say? And she was well pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. I think, I think Thomas walked through me and yelled at me. But I was standing perfectly still, so he's the lunatic. But that matches with what everyone else is saying about him, to be fair. Good day to you. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway, and they're pretty handy. Maybe, but they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill, and I saw them eyeing up Jane. Yeah, nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl, and she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... And then they'll take their groschen and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra groschen. But woe be tied them if they don't. You can tell them that. What a weird quest. Well, what? You literally just... That guy just ran into me and then freaked out. Again. That was a weird... what a weird quest. What a weird quest. First of all, there was no dialogue check at all. I didn't have to do any skills to convince him. It just happened automatically. Like, there wasn't even really choices in most of the conversation. And there are definitely no skill checks involved. Uh, but then at the end of it, he was just like... That was weird. That's, that's them, right? At the end of it, uh, he's like, I never could have imagined... I never would have thought we could have resorted, uh, resolved this like this, and... But the resolution was just, hey, just let them work. And that's it. Like... <laughs> like, no, there's no cra crazy, innovative solution here. I was just like, hey, let them work here. And like, I never could have imagined we could just resolve this like this. I'm like, what... What did we even really resolve, honestly? It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. Really didn't. I'm glad to hear it. So we can stay here? He'll leave us be? 
He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Oh, never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard. He can go fuck himself. He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet, and that's better than nothing. Here's something for your help. This is apparently... This is apparently, like, a way bigger deal than I think it is? Because it seems like everyone's winning, but they're, but he freaked out a bit. But also, all of this is like, wow, if they do the right work, I'll throw in an extra groschen or two. It's like, wow, an extra groschen or two? That's crazy. Then he gives me 175 as a reward, and I'm like, uh, did I... Did I negotiate such a large deal that you're going to make so much that 175 is is negligible compared to your bonus or something? Because I'm like, I don't, it, it doesn't help that I have no idea what money's worth in this game. So like, I don't understand what a wage is money wise. So like, I don't know what to think about these people. They're like, he's giving me 175 just on the spot. This seems like a lot. I can't tell if I'm getting it because it's a reasonable amount of money, or if I'm just getting it because the game was like, you did a quest, here's a reward, and didn't think about it too much. I'm ready for another skill again for alchemy? Venomous blade. Poison applied to a weapon will remain on the blade longer. Trial and error. When brewing, you can make one extra mistake without affecting the result. I seem to be doing just fine with brewing so far. I could do bonus poison, but I, don't, I haven't really been applying poison to begin with. And the only poison effect I have contact with at the moment is the one... There is a skill that can add poison to your weapon, but it happens automatically if you're using a certain type of weapon. So I don't think it's really duration-based. Could go bigger healing amounts. Less intoxication. Or I could just save it for later, because there's some cool-looking stuff down here, perhaps? Push and sell for more. Ooh. When you make a potion, you get an extra one, although it doesn't work for auto-brew, which is kind of a bummer, because eventually you'd kind of want to just do it automatically, because it's kind of a long process. Routine. You can now auto-brew potions that you have brewed once before, but only... But you can only brew one. Hmm. Auto-brewing will produce three potions for the price of one. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> That's level 10, level 13. Those are the ones to get, damn. And then snake oil salesman could make you some money. So maybe sa maybe save up for getting a snake oil, oil salesman and routine one and three. Get routine three, and you're getting tons of potions while not having to play the whole mini game again. And that seems like a good idea. Very, very close to quest to level eleven. I think that quest is resolved. So we should follow up on not that one. That one. We need to go banish ghosts. Spooky, spooky ghosts.